Top 20 Science Teacher Interview Questions and Answers A science teacher provides instructions and guidance to help students explore and understand important concepts in science, including problem solving and how to gather evidence to support ideas or decisions. Below are some of the most commonly asked questions in a science teaching interview. 1. Why are you interested in this role? A question commonly asked the interviewer wants to understand why you are interested in this position. Reply explaining why you are interested in teaching science and what led you to pursue a career in this field. Sample answer, I had a passion for science at such a tender age, mesmerized by the influence of science in our everyday lives and its unending mysteries. Teaching science became my priority before graduating from high school. It became a goal to change the perception of kids, since many think of the sciences as hard, so they can see the beauty in science and all its fields. It has been my goal and I am fascinated to be able to practice science on a daily basis, too. What are the roles of a science teacher? Here the interviewer wants to see how well you understand this position's roles. Explain the responsibilities associated with teaching science. Sample answer. The primary role of any science teacher is to guide and enable students to understand knowledge portrayed in the sciences. Science as a subject is wide and can be confusing in the young mind of a student and with my understanding of the various fields of science. I try my best to pass on my knowledge to the students, but also being a mentor, I have the duty to instill discipline and essential life skills to help the students mature better so as to become responsible people in the society. 3. What are the qualities needed in teaching science for one to be successful? Here the interviewer wants to know if you possess the right qualities in your career. Mention the skills and qualities that would help you progress smoothly in this career apart from your qualifications. Sample answer, a science teacher has to be well informed, knowledgeable and up to date with anything to do with science, critical thinking and attention to detail are essential to deal with the huge number of students. In your classes, Good communication skills are important in building a good bond with your students. Possessing these skills has been the key to success in my career and I'm sure will help me progress in this institution. 4. What major challenges did you face during your last role and how did you manage them? Your problem-solving skills are crucial in you landing any position. Here the interviewer gauges how well you will be able to handle yourself under pressure. Talk about any tumultuous incident you experienced from your previous role and how you managed it. Sample answer, when working as an intern at Jordan Brooks Elementary, I was faced with many difficulties, but one particular incident that affected me was when a rude student in one of the classes I was teaching became a constant menace with his mockery that really lowered my self-esteem and confidence, but after consultation with my colleagues, I became aware that these were some of the challenges that I would face in this career. I sat with the kid and had a chat with him was able to instill some guidance from our conversation. Since then I see the essence of facing my challenges head-on and possibly getting rewarding solutions afterwards. 5. Describe your daily routine as a science teacher. The interviewer may ask this question to see whether you are organized and familiar with the duties you have to fulfill throughout your day as a science teacher. Sample answer. My routine starts with a quick workout and yoga to keep my body in shape and prepare myself physically for the tough day ahead. After a quick shower, I prepare myself by always dressing well to portray a good picture of my students as their mentors during class time. I then take a short trip to my office at school and check in my class schedule and emails to prepare for any meetings and the required class works. The first class begins at 8 a.m. and we break at 10 a.m. for 30 minutes. My day ends at 5 p.m. and if there are no further duties I head home, 6. Describe briefly about your experience, in such a question the interviewer wants to know more about you, your qualifications, educational and professional background, talk about your goals and educational qualification. Sample answer, I can say the passion for teaching runs in my family, my father and grandfather are now lecturers and this has really shaped my perception of teaching from such an early age. I completed my high school diploma from Tahiti High School and did my Bachelor of Education in Physics at Webster University. Upon completion of my studies, I worked as a science teacher for five years and in the past two years after gaining more experience in this field, I was promoted to assistant, head of the science department in my previous role. 7. What kind of strategies and mindset is required for this role? 
Here the interviewer wants to know if you have the required mindset to enable you to prosper in this role, answer honestly about your mindset and how well it is suited to the institution's philosophy, sample answer. A sound mindset with good decision-making skills is crucial in managing a huge number of students, also, a good judge of character, time consciousness, efficient communication skills and critical thinking are also vital for one to be the best in this field, virtues which I have obtained over the years working as a science teacher at the top level. 8. What is the biggest challenge that you foresee in this job? The interviewer may ask this to see how you perceive challenges related to this field and your strategies in dealing with them. Reply stating from your past experiences, incidences you saw as challenging and how you eventually dealt with them, sample answer, one thing I have learned in this career is that students are an unpredictable bunch to deal with, I see this being a challenge to me in this new position, since I'll be new to them creating a fast bond is crucial and will be hard and may slow down my progress. But being a quick learner and with my sound communication skills I know our relations will take a good course over a short period of time. 9. How do you stay motivated in your work? Here the interviewer wants to know what your motivation is in this line of work and what drives you to better yourself every day. Sample answer. A set of steps and measures have helped out me to motivate myself when I feel overburdened. I try to relax and calm myself which helps me draw a new perspective on what I have to tackle. Have a new outlook and not give up which really boosts my confidence. Another motivation source is seeing how well I have mentored most of my previous students to become successful and respected persons in the community. 10. Describe a time when you failed in this role and the lessons learnt. The interviewer may often ask the question to see whether you are honest about your failures and how good your problem-solving skills are. Talk about any scenario in your career where you made A and how it taught you an important lesson. Sample answer. The one instance I have failed as a teacher is when we in my previous school gave a lot of computer knowledge to our Google generation students, who always got science facts through their computers. I think our youths have become too dependent on their devices thus being lazy to think critically, but from what I learned in my last role, offering guidance and advice on every field. And not only in the science domain has helped my students to be open-minded, self-regulating and collaborative teens. 11. Why do you feel you are the most suited for this role? The interviewer wants to know why you should be given the position. Mention your skills and strengths that should distinguish you. Sample answer. I can say to be a professional science teacher one has to acquire and possess a strong sense of observation, critical and technical thinking skills, problem-solving skills, and be quick in decision-making. I can confidently say that I have trained well, which is the core reason I feel I am worthy of this role. 12. Share with us your greatest achievement, interviewers will want to know about your significant achievements in your career. Talk about incidences you felt were most successful and qualify as career achievements, sample answer, my greatest achievement was when the students I supervised in a science fair won the national award with a technological presentation on dealing with climate change. The students were awarded scholarships to join MIT in their high school studies, due to this achievement, I also got an award in my state for being the best science teacher of the year which really made boosted my confidence. 13. What is your teaching philosophy? An interviewer may ask this question to understand what your approach to teaching is and what guides you and how you manage your classroom. Talk about what your philosophy is and how you apply it every day. Sample answer. From my perspective, I understand that the best way to teach is to have the students come up with their own study routines and if right back them up, this does not only make the learning experience intriguing, to be honest but also enables them to find the difficult concepts easy to grasp. I usually let my students explore the involvement of science in every aspect from their homes to the playground and in the class, and this over the years of my experience has made learning easier for the students. 14. How do you integrate technology into your role? An interviewer may ask this question to understand how well advanced you are and how you can incorporate technology into your learning teaching process. Sample answer. In this ever-evolving society of ours, I can say technology is vital for development in any field and education hasn't been left either the use of PowerPoint. Microsoft Word and the Internet to do homework and assignments is crucial. I have always found success when I use technology in the classroom, 
it has helped my students with different learning styles thus allowing students to work significantly and helps prepare students with life skills. 15. How would you handle a disgruntled parent? The interviewer may ask this question to gauge how well-mannered you will be when handling an unhappy parent. Mention any incidents where you had to deal with a difficult parent and how you managed such a situation. Sample answer. Once as an intern I had to deal with a parent who had been misled to believe that I had been purposefully failing his kid in science. The parent contacted me via email and it started off as a fruitful conversation but took a turn. When the parent started sending malicious emails I trained explaining my point to no avail. Fortunately, she accepted my invitation to come to school so as to settle the matter. After meeting with the parent we had an understanding and cleared the air between us. After years of dealing with parents and other teachers, I have learned to communicate well and know my boundaries. While advising parents as people tend to be different and uphold different sets of culture and understanding. 16. Can you describe your classroom management style? In this question, the interviewer wants to understand how you go about teaching in your classroom and managing students' behavior. Explain how you manage your classroom and the results you expect to gain from it making sure it matches the institution's philosophy. Sample answer. My teaching and disciplinary approach has been based on my philosophy of an interactive and team-building environment in my classroom, respect between peers and students is vital and crucial for the classroom attitude. And I have achieved this by mentoring the student to always give each other words of encouragement in any milestones achieved thus having a motivated class to work with. 17. What are your weakness? Here the interviewer wants to gauge how honest you are with your weaknesses and how it affects your work. Candidly explain your weaknesses and how well you've managed them to suit your career. Sample answer, I can say I lack patience when working with a team. That's why I pursued teaching so as to work independently and have full control of the class and be at my best. However, in my career, I have tried to improve this weakness by enrolling in team building workshops and training. 18. What are your hobbies? The interviewer wants to know what your hobbies are and how well they can be effective in your field of work. Explain your hobbies and how they relate well to your work. Sample answer, I love swimming a lot it helps me cool off and the relaxation afterward helps me achieve balance in another part of my life including my classwork. Sometimes I find work monotonous. Swimming during the weekends has helped me feel vibrant and energized over the weekdays. I am also a keen follower of the National Hockey League and always attend hockey matches with my family over the weekends. 19. What are the advantages of implementing the Common Core State Standards, CCSS? The interviewer in such a question wants to understand the set of standards you prefer using and your opinion on the Common Core State Standards. Sample answer, implementing the Common Core State Standards in my curricular has really helped me understand and know each and every student based on their strengths and weaknesses thus having a good approach on how well I can handle them individually rather than as a whole group of students. 20. What are your professional values? Here the interviewer is keen to understand your perception not only of this role but professionalism as a whole. Providing an overview of professionalism from your point of view is good enough. Sample answer. I have always sought to upheld integrity in my line of work and I believe it is a key part of any profession. Importantly as a teaching aid I stand as a role model to my students and therefore whatever I do should have a positive impact on the children. Conclusion These are some of the common questions for the role of production worker but it is essential for a candidate to prepare extensively for an interview. Consulting and reading to obtain further information on the role is crucial since having sufficient knowledge eases pressure on you before the big interview.